Welcome to this Earthan View video for converting PNG to JPEG. First thing to do, start up Earthan View. You can find it on the web, there's a site, website, Earthan View. Once you've got it, now the version I've got there, 4.25, is quite an old version. This is quite an old video. So just start it up. Once you're into the application, what you need to do is go to File. And there's an option down there, batch conversion slash rename. And that will be able to convert loads and loads of PNG files quickly to JPEGs. You can see over there, I've got a folder with some PNG files. And I'm just going to go search for another folder with PNG files. Most of the files that I've created on the web for my Graphic Extras website have been PNG format, along with the standard formats, ABR, etc. for brushes. But PNG is fairly universal. But some applications have problems with PNG. So you can convert them to JPEG. So you maybe want to run it for various plugins, etc. Or old versions of Painter, etc. as well. So you can see all the files there, PNG files, and you see a little preview there. And what you can do, you can add those. But you can also select a selection of them like that, and then just say click add. Or just add all of them, if you wish, for an entire folder to be added into that. Once you've done that, you can go, go down there and you can see the preview of the design. And they're all in PNG format. Well, what I want is an output format. So go to the output format section and select JPEG. And you can click options at the side and then you can set the save quality, maybe make it very poor. But I always like to keep just 100%. You can also do all the various other things, save as progressive. I'm not going to do that. Then click OK. Now it's not processed at this point because what the next thing you can do, make certain you're putting it to a, an output folder, an output directory. So select an output directory and then click Start Batch. And then it will process all those files, all those jokes. And you can see a little log showing you all the things. Click OK there. And that's it. It's all done. You've got all your files. Now what you can do, you can now, of course, use them in, you see, other applications. Now there are limitations, of course, with JPEGs. You can see you've got the background now. Whereas if you want to use the JPEG file, that's the way of doing it. Now you might prefer maybe to convert them to TIFF. And there's also lots of other formats you can convert as well. I'm using TIFF as an example. TIFF is very good. So again, go to that batch conversion in the file menu. Go and, unfortunately, it doesn't put it back to the folder you're just currently in. So, so you have to quickly go back to that, the one where you've got all the PNG files. And I say these are brushes, but they could be by pattern designs. Got lots of pattern designs that are PNG format. I say it's a fairly universal, many applications accept it. Affinity Photo, etc., but not all. And there's the PNG files here. Now select a batch of them and click the Add. So I'm going to go for that lot. Click Add, and you can see them all in that bottom bit there. And again, you can see the preview there of all the different designs. And now go over to the output format over in the, on the left and go for TIFF instead. Options, click options. You can see a variety of options and you can set different things there. Once you're happy with those options, click OK. And again, set the output folder if you wish as well. And start the batch. And then it's done all being converted to TIFF. Now you can use those TIFF files in various applications. And you see one thing, you've got the TIFF files there. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. This tutorial has been slightly different as it is an older one, but someone asked me to 
relook at it and show it again. So I thought I'll quickly run through it again. Please subscribe to Graphic Extras channel. Always add new tutorials all the time. Comments, please. Always appreciated. Dislike or like. Thank you much.